What's up, guys? I hope you're well. Chadio here. Today, we are checking out two Ronnie's Phantom Raspberry Blower. Uh, it's Terror Strikes as Raspberries Fly Part 2. I hope you all are having a wonderful Tuesday. I know my Tuesday is going very well. It's very cold here. It's about 6 degrees Fahrenheit at my house. That's freaking cold. And if you're new here, hit the subscription button, ring the bell. Also, like and leave a comment down below. Let's see what the raspberry blower is up to now. A city shrouded in fog. Somewhere within the labyrinths of its narrow streets lurked a madman, ready to bring discomfort and disgust to respectable citizens throughout the city. Already, the Prime Minister's butler had suffered a terrifying attack. <laughs> Never been so. Ooh. Our hero, Inspector Corner of the Yard, <laughs> and the tireless and loyal Sergeant Bowles prepared to pit their wits pitilessly against the phantom. Where would he strike next? It was at this point that a pattern began to emerge. Three nights later at Great Bardling's Woodstock, the country house of Lady Penelope Barclay Hunt, whose ancient family was seventh in line of succession to the throne, was the next link in a chain of horror. <laughs> the manor, a treasure house of heirlooms, was guarded by her ladyship's private police force. It was getting on for midnight, and Lady Penelope was being entertained by her pantry man, Heathcliff. <laughs> well, James, is the silver locked away? Yes, my lady. Is the cat out? Oh, yes, my lady. <laughs> out like a light. <laughs> very well, James. Has anyone ever told you that you are very attractive, James? No, my lady. I'm not surprised. You're repulsive. <laughs> Still, it's a lonely life since I lost my little podgy. Oh, I think you exaggerate, my lady. <coughs> you still got quite a lot of podgy, in my opinion. Thank you, James. <coughs> Will that be all, my lady? No, James. <laughs> Very good, my lady. <laughs> the same as usual. The same as usual, oh. James. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, the candle, James, the candle! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he's just given a raspberry. He also looked like he was flashing, too. That is hilarious. Oh my gosh, this is great. <laughs> What's happened, my lady? It must be the shock. Quick, call a witch doctor. <laughs> oh, God. Her ladyship's private police force worked tirelessly through the night, questioning suspicious characters. Here, I want to work with you. Jesus Christ. That's funny. Ben, I want to work with you. 
<laughs> I want the weather with you. Oh my god. Meanwhile, back in Scotland Yard, Inspector Corner sat thinking in the comfort of his own office. Oh wow. Rumbles. He did strike again. I want an orchestra in my office. What the hell? How do I do that? How do I get one of those? And a person of royal blood. Can't believe it. It's all so pointless. Oh, sorry, sir. <laughs> the shock of the attack turned her ladyship's hair white and her face black. <coughs> For the time being, she is being held as an illegal immigrant. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my God. That's, oh, that's funny. Wow. Wow. <laughs> to work, Bowles. Let's go through the sequence of events in order. Go through the facts. One at a time. Tying things up. Looking for clues. First, take the scene at number 10. The butler answered the door. Mm -hmm. When the attacker produced his card, he collapsed upon the floor. When the assailant left, he made a most peculiar noise. He shocked the Duchess, man on crutches, and three small boys. <laughs> <laughs> Next Lady P, mm -hmm. Barkley Hunt. <laughs> Terrible thing. Horrible stunt. There was her ladyship in bed with nothing at all on her mind. In rushed a terrible creature and attacked her from behind. Disgusting. She got a fright, her hair turned white and her face a very dark grey. The pantry man, Jim, what happened to him? His order faded away. <laughs> Jealousy could have been the motive. Could be a solution. Both victims jilted him. He's seeking retribution. Now all we do is find someone who fits the plan. Someone who fancies a tall brunette and, and a, a big, big fat <laughs> man. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's so good. <laughs> oh, Once man. again, the great British police force relentlessly pursued their prey in completely the wrong direction. <laughs> Not a mile from Scotland Yard in the Houses of Parliament, Mr. Disraeli was having a stormy passage with the opposition at question time. <laughs> Tell you, Mr. Gladstone, I can buy the Suez Canal for you. What the hell's up with his nose? Oh, believe me, I say I'll get it, I'll get it. <laughs> what about the prostitution bill? Pay it, sir, pay it. <laughs> yeah, Next buddy. question. When he's brown, steams and comes out of cows backwards. I don't know what is brown, steams and comes out of cows backwards. The Isle of Wight Ferry. <laughs> all right, Mr. Churchill. <laughs> if that's the way you want to play it, all I can say is. Oh! Oh, my wallet. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, the phantom was struck. Once again, at someone in the public eye. Respectability was being shattered all over the city. Who would be next to receive a full frontal blast? <laughs> Who would be next to be exposed to the outrages of the phantom raspberry blower of old London town? Oh, that's so good. <laughs> I lo I'm loving this. I'm loving this series. Um, I will be continuing this. Um, <clears throat> probably... Uh, Probably do one episode a week. Maybe we'll see how many. I'm not sure how many parts there are to this. If you guys let me know in the comments. I think somebody, I thought someone said 12. I don't know if there's that many or not. But uh, I do plan on um, continuing to react to this. Uh, that being said, I want to thank you all for watching. Stay safe and don't forget to wash your hands.